Randy from God Loves Kids, and I wanted to introduce you guys to a special group of kids that we met in David. All these kids, they range in age from 14 all the way up to 22, have been rescued from sex trafficking and prostitution and pulled out of gangs by Maduka, the Ministry of Education here in Panama, and the local police department here in David. Um, they're doing some amazing things. All these kids are going to grow up to learn to be police officers or go to college for criminal justice. And right now they're learning discipline and being taught like nobody else. Kids where? From 14 okay. till 22, 23 sometimes. Oh, wow. And they divide it into groups. Mondays and Wednesday, and they receive classes here with Meduca. Oh, great. Meduca great. is working with them. On uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, there is another group okay. that they receive classes. And on Fridays, if they have something special, if they are going to practice any type of sport or they are going to clean, they come on Friday. Uh, very, very cool. Okay. So that they are working with kids that they are in social risk between 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. From 15 years. And what is the limit? Until 22 years. This is a program where Meduca, the Ministry of Education, is working plus the Ministerio de Seguridad Social that will be like the, po the police officers involved in the area. ¿Y qué más está en Meduca? Meduca, Ministerio de Desarrollo Social y Ministerio de Seguridad. And the Ministry of Security too. And also they started this program 10 years ago with kids that they are rejected from regular classes, that they make some, well, not like a crime at all, but at least they still stop or they have problems with the community. So instead of putting them in jail, they try to put these kids in the social center to help them with their studies and to help them to receive at least a daily plate of food. Okay, so the program starts 10 years ago in Panama City, but here in Chiriqui, three years ago, they start with 80 kids and now they have around 230 kids. And what he says is that they are trying to to find, to receive funds from the government. It's really hard to receive these funds. And what they really need right now is like their own space because this area here, it's the beginning time. And this area here is like a community gym where they are trying to find like their own area, like a donation of a land or something so they can have their own space for the kids so they can live there. Uh, the basic uh, needs that they have right now is that they need a kitchen, they need more classroom for the kids because they have to shift one shift on Monday and Tuesdays and the other on, no sorry, Monday and Wednesdays and the other shift on Tuesdays and Thursdays because they don't have space here to have all these kids together receiving the classes. And here they receive like a special police training with a lot of discipline. They start classes or they start with the training at 6.30 a.m. here and they finish at 2 because at 12 they receive the, after 12 they cook and then they receive the lunch and then they can go home because they can't have the kids here because they don't have space, they don't have rooms, they don't have classrooms, so they are doing what they can with what they have right now at this moment. I'm talking about what they eat daily, it will be around 70 or 80 dollars a day, a day okay. Okay. just to eat. Okay. And what she says is that they are not included in transport because they have to cover their own transport, so having a bus here to take them and pick up the kids to stay here, it will be perfect. Now we were really blessed to be able to meet these kids and see the need that they have and learn a little bit about the program that's going on. Um, we are very excited, I especially am very excited having a, a grandmother and some uncles that were police and seeing these kids, the changes that they've made in their lives, knowing that they used to be part of gangs or, or prostitution. 
So I'm asking you guys to reach out and help us. If you want to help, text God Loves Kids to 77977 and give your best gift today. I was able to uh, cut a check to them for God Loves Kids to make sure their meals were paid for the day that we came, which was a Friday. Uh, but they do need about $80 a day to make sure every one of these kids get fed. So I'm asking you to reach into your heart, reach out to us, give your best gift today. You can also go to www.godloveskids.org and learn to donate on there as well.